What's up you guys? Today we're going to be working on the cat eye and we're going to be replacing this piece. It's for the limiting strap. And we broke it when we went out to a Mirage. I don't even know how we broke it, but you can see that this one is bent. And it snapped up here where the nuts hold it to the little tube thing on the frame. So we went straight to Artec. We got there like 10 minutes before they closed and we were able to get two of these. We got two because we're gonna replace the broken one and we're gonna replace the driver's side one, which is still, I guess it's still okay. But we wanna keep that one as a spare. So we wanna replace these two and get this thing ready. So we're gonna start off with the driver's side, the one that's not broken. So let's go over to that side. We're gonna jack up the truck from the controller and then we're gonna remove the tire. And I think we need an alignment on this side because the tire looks like it's leaning in a little bit from the top, just on this side. All right, so now with the wheel off, you can see that the piece that we wanna get to is behind the shock. So we're gonna try to get two of these. I mean, these are like a 19 millimeter, so there's two, you have to hold the bottom one and start undoing the top. This is the first time with us messing with any of this, with like dimming straps and all this, so we're gonna learn how to do this right now. I don't think there's much to it, because all you have to do is just insert this and then run down the nuts. And then the strap goes on this end. All right, so we were able to pull both nuts off and these nuts were super loose. They were not tight at all. Like I literally got them off with my hand. I don't know why, but the threads on these new ones, they are way longer than that. And we also noticed that the nuts were ran in all the way, like all the way to the bottom. So I guess that's how we're gonna install these. But first we are going to enter this onto the strap. And it looks like these were cut down a little bit. I don't think they'll interfere with anything, but who knows, once we install these new ones, we'll figure that out. So I think for this nut and bolt, it is a 16 millimeter. I'm gonna use the impact to get that off. We got that piece off of the strap. Now we're gonna insert the new one. And this is how it goes. So it's a bolt, then the washer in here then these little insert things so the longer side goes in to the strap and then a washer on this side and the nut on the end so we're going to install that onto the strap and then we're going to insert this side onto this bracket right there we got the new limiting strap clevis installed you can see that there's a lot of threads up top i don't know maybe that's why they cut the other one this one and also we noticed that this is a little bent i don't know if you guys could tell and we also went ahead and massaged this side kind of just got this hammer and we, were, we started hitting it because this came in contact with the wheel we might have to do some cutting right here and bending this in as well. I'm not sure. Once we throw the wheel on, we'll check that. But that's it for this side. We're gonna go ahead and do the driver's, I mean, the sorry, the passenger side, the one that was actually broken. We got the strap in, it's all tight. Now we're gonna bend this in a little bit for the clearance. Cause you can see it's rubbing. Yeah. The plan is to paint all this black or anything that's visible right here. Paint it black. Now that we bent that in a little bit, we're going to hammer it. One more thing we noticed is that these, the ABS line and the brake line, 
They're supposed to be zip tied to the little tabs right there. On the right down. And they aren't. So we're gonna close the zip ties on there. Just to make sure that they don't go all over the place. This brake line is not how we would like it to be, but we'll get to that in another video. But for now, we're gonna uh, focus on this, and then we got this all hammered in. Doesn't look nice, but we'll get to painting this soon. So it won't rust. Well, that's it for this video. It was quick. It's our first time replacing that. I thought it was going to be a little more difficult, but there really isn't much to it. Make sure to check us out on Instagram at Yonka underscore OXC Films. I'll leave that in the description down below, and we'll catch you on the next one.